Hi, I'm going to show you how to turn on the Unicon Confocal Microscope here at Skip. As you can see, the computer is already turned on. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and show you is just the uh, simple steps on turning on the uh, microscope um, before you start imaging. So it's pretty simple. So the first thing you want to do is go over here to the uh, the valve for the air. Um, it was recently turned on as you can see there's still air in, in the uh, lines. Uh, so what I'm going to do is turn it to the left here. Uh, so if this was off and you turn it to the left at least one or two rotations um, that should turn on the air. And this is what you should read somewhere between 60 and 80 psi. So if that's reading if that reading is correct then you're good the next step is to go over here to where the uh, lasers uh, control boxes are so just double check that they're on standby just like that um, and if so go over here um, over to where the power switch is labeled all you have to do is switch this on what will happen is the uh, components of the microscope will turn on. So you have your microscope, your stage controller, your shutter controller, um, the lasers, and so on. Um, so now the next thing you want to turn on is the C1 controller. That's located down here next to the PC. So I'm going to go ahead and just switch that on right here. What you'll notice is there is one light um, that is the power light. The light below it is the ready light. Um, after maybe like 30 seconds that'll turn on uh, and then the C1 control will be ready to go. So while we're doing the next steps this should turn on. So we're going to go up here, um, go over to the Lambda Smart Shutter, which is right there. Um, really simple, all you have to do is turn on the shutter. And to do that, go ahead and press local here, and go ahead and press shutter right here. Um, what should happen is the shutter should click on, uh, the lamp should turn on, and what you should see ideally is the light source on. Um, and you can see it by eye. If it's a little difficult to see, you can always put your hand under it. If there's a bright light that shines and you're good. If you don't see anything, um, what you can do is to the left of the microscope, um, just double check that it's on. You can go ahead and press the on and off button here for the lamp. Um, you can see it turned off. So it was on. Uh, it was on, turned it off, now I'm going to turn it back on. Um, if you do turn off and on and nothing comes out, um, oh, you could always check the, uh, the intensity knob right here. Uh, it's possible that it's uh, turned all the way down. You can turn it up. Um, you should see a light. In this case, you don't see anything. I just got to turn the lamp back on. It was off. Uh, now you'll see something. Go down here, turn off the intensity again. Um, you see it's a little bit brighter, oh, it, but it's pretty much maxed out. Um, once you get there, um, really the next steps are to just log in. Um, here's the admin account uh, interface. Just put in my password, log in, um, start up the Easy C1 software by double clicking on the Easy C1 icon. Uh, and that takes you to the software required to run the uh, confocal hardware. Um, and then you're pretty much ready to go. Uh, if you'd like to know more how to use ECC1, um, I'll also have other videos available. Um, you can just uh, click on those other ones, uh, sh some short tutorials available, uh, and you can learn more about that. So. Everything is pretty much on, ready to go, and you go. You can go ahead and collect images. Cool. Thanks for watching.